Now this is our VBT 1200. This is our smallest unit on the market right now. It is uh, capable of producing 1200 gallons of fuel each month. It's on a five by eight platform. Uh, what you see in front of me right here are the uh, the inlet and outlets that are uh, on a, a typical trailer. Your plug, which is a 230 30 amp, is inside this door. Your water comes in here, and your waste, your glycerol, comes out here. So what you're looking at is you plug in right here, and you plug water in, and this thing's ready to make biodiesel. This little unit right here will take raw, used, nasty grease from restaurants and turn it into premium biodiesel. 100 or 1200 gallons in a month's time this little guy will produce. Inside each one of these units you'll find there's a little workstation here built in so that you can do your titrate and, and, and check your oil pH. Further along inside the trailer is the methanol and potassium hydroxide mixing tank. This mixing tank is where the potassium hydroxide and the methanol are mixed together creating the meth, meth oxide. So this mixing occurs inside this tank here and it's mixed using an air pump, which is a, an explosion proof pump to, to mix the meth oxide. So what happens is once the meth oxide is mixed in this tank and the oil is heated in this tank, the oil is then transferred out of the heating tank into the mixing tank. And inside this mixing tank is where the reaction takes place. The meth oxide is mixed with the oil. This causes the glycerin to separate, it causes the, the molecular structure of the triglyceride to break off and the glycerol, the glycerin falls to the bottom where then we can drain that off. Once that, that process is done in the mixing tank, then we then go to the shower tank or the washing tank. This is where the, uh, the oil is actually cleaned. So inside here is actually your methyl ester. This is your biodiesel. And with the water washing that goes on, it's scrubbed clean. Then it leaves this where it travels via our piping system over to this tank. And this is our drying tank. So it went through the process, through the molecular process, breaking that down and getting rid of the glycerol into the, the misting, the washing process where we wash the oil. Now the oil has come over here. Well the oil that's over here, or the fuel, the methyl ester that's here, has water suspended in it from the washing process. So what we need to do is we need to separate the water out. We need to get the water out of the oil. So we have a unique system here with a shower. One of the unique aspects of a Verde biotrailer is our drying process. Once the methyl ester, the biodiesel, has been scrubbed with the water wash, it is then transferred over to this tank where the water is now separated out. You have to remove the water from the methyl ester in order to make the biodiesel clean with no water in it. So what we do here is we literally shower the biodiesel through these shower heads so that the water can then be evaporated off. And, and for, I'll give you an example. You open the valves that run the oil over here and you turn on the drying pump and this is gonna process through and you'll see how the water, the, the oil is, is atomized and the water is evaporating off. So once the water's been dried off of the biodiesel, this tank now is, is pure, clean biodiesel, ready to be used in a vehicle. So at this point, it is then transferred out of this tank, out of the drying tank, in through this filter, through this flow meter, and of course distributed through the nozzle. Every one of our units comes with a, a flow meter, which tells you, of course, how many gallons you're putting in your rig, as well as uh, the total amount that this unit has produced. One of the benefits of uh, a mobile unit versus a built-in is the fact that when you have a spill and you have a cleanup, this is a very simple unit to take to the car wash and hose it out and clean it up. Uh, another benefit is the fact that it's self-contained so that it's safe as far as fire hazard. Um, it doesn't fall under the same codes for building as a permanent unit would, say with the fire inspector or the building inspector. Um, the, the, the reality is if you decide to go to a larger unit, that you can put this on eBay and somebody can come and pick it up and take it away. You don't have to go tear it out of your house or your barn or your building.